Hey learners, hope you all are doing well. I am sure you all are taking care of yourself. Let's continue with our Vedic Math series. In the previous session, we discussed about multiplication of any number with series of 1. Today, we are going to see one concept called base and complement. And this concept will be useful for many Vedic tricks in the future. So stay tuned till the end. Now we'll discuss what is base and what is complement. Now first we'll talk about base. Base is a number which starts with 1 and it is followed by one or more zeros. I hope you are getting it. So what is a base? It's a number which starts with 1 and followed by 1 or more zeros. Few examples to give you. Now first example is 10. Now we can say 10 is a base because it starts with 1 and followed by 0. I hope you are getting it. Now suppose if I write 100. Is it a base? Yes, because it starts with 1 and followed by two zeros. If I take 1, it won't be called as a base according to the definition. Suppose if I take only 0, this 2 is not a base. If I take 1000, 1000 is an example of base. It is starting with 1 and followed by zeros. If I take 101, it cannot be called as a base because after starting with 1, you are only allowed to have zeros, but you are getting 1 again. Therefore, this is not a base. Is this a base? 10,500 is not a base. 2000, what do you say about this? It's not a base. 10,000, is it a base? Yes. It starts with 1 and followed by zeros. I hope you understood what is base. Now let's see what is complement. Now complement of a number is a number found by subtraction of the number from the nearest base number. Is it clear to you? Complement of a number. If you have a number x, okay? So if you are subtracting that x from its nearest base, whatever answer you get, that is the complement of x. Many times it is written as x bar. Clear? So if x is your number, x bar is its complement. And how do we find x bar? It is subtraction of x from its nearest base. Or you can say, if you add x and x bar, you will get nearest base. Okay, the complement of a number is a number found by subtraction of a number from the nearest base number. Example, if I take 47, okay, so if I take 47, obviously its nearest base is 100. Okay, sure. Then, what will be its complement? 53. Okay. If I take 283. Now 283. The nearest base is going to be 1000. Okay. 100. Zero, zero, 1000. So what will be the complement of 283? It will be 717. Okay. One more example if I take. Okay, now the example is 71,523. Its nearest base is going to be 1 lakh. Okay, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. So what will be its complement? Its complement will be 2, 8, 4, 7, 7. Okay, now you may say how to find out complement. And that's what we are going to learn and remember this base and complement technique will be used 
many times in the future in the process of learning Vedic maths. Okay. Now we are going to use our one sutra which we have studied in the past that is Nikhilam Navataschcharma Dashata that is all from 9 and last from 10. So to find out complement still we are going to use the same sutra that is all from 9 and last from 10. Okay. Let's see some examples of finding out complements. Now for example if I want to find complement of 54.36 okay now just see before dot before dot how many digits are there two okay so there should be that many zeros in this base so this is right now instead of doing subtraction in our traditional method now vedic has provided you one sutra that is all from nine and last from ten just go on subtracting each digit from 9 and last from 10. And what you get is its complement. Isn't it that easy? Yes. Just take 54.36. As I said, we are going to subtract all digits from 9 and last from 10. Okay. Now tell me fast. 9 minus 5 is 4. 9 minus 4 is 5. Dot as it is. 9 minus 3 is 6. And 10 minus 6 is 4. And that is the answer. 45.64 is complement of 54.36. If you add the given number and its complement, you're going to get nearest base. I hope you are getting it. Okay. Let's see one more example. 10,000 minus 3478.2281. Now tell me how many digits are before dot 4. And there are that many zeros in the base. Okay. So according to the procedure, I told you how to find out, subtract all digits from 9 and last from 10. That simple it is. So 3478.2281. All digit from 9 and last from 10 when we subtract. Very fast you should be able to do. 9 minus 3 is 6. 9 minus 4 is 5. 9 minus 7 is 2, 9 minus 8 is 1, dot as it is, 9 minus 2, 7, 9 minus 2, 7, 9 minus 8, 1, and 10 minus 1, 9. And that is its complement. That simple, isn't it? Yes. One more example, 363.633. Now tell me how many digits are before dot? Three digits. So are there that many zeros in the base? Yes. Now all from 9 and last from 10. Okay. Each digit we are going to subtract from 9 and the last one from 10. Do it fast. Normally we are taught in the schools or in the traditional process to do subtraction from the right side. But you can see we are doing here from left side. 9 minus 3 is 6. 9 minus 6 is 3. 9 minus 3 is 6. Dot. 9 minus 6, 3. 9 minus 3, 6. And 10 minus 3 is 7. That's all. And that is the complement of 363.633. Isn't it simple? Let's take some more examples of finding out complement. First example. Find out 10,000 minus 9191.09 okay so as there are four zeros and there are four digits before dot we can directly apply our nikhilam rule that is all from 9 and last from 10 now tell me fast 9 minus 9 is 0 9 minus 1 is 8 9 minus 9 is 0 9 minus 1 is 8 dot as it is 9 minus 0 is 9 and 10 minus 9 is 1. One more example to take. 10 minus 7.142857. Okay. Now many may ask, is it only for fractional? No, you, have, you can apply it for whole numbers as well. Okay. Now tell me, 9 minus 7 is 2 dot as it is. 
9 minus 1, 8, 9 minus 4, 5, 9 minus 2, 7, 9 minus 8, 1, 9 minus 5, 4, and 10 minus 7, 3. Isn't it simple? Yes. And if you add this complement and this number, you'll get again this base. Okay. Many might be wondering why we are finding out this base and complement. Don't worry. We are going to see some tricks of Vedic maths in multiplications where we'll use this concept. Okay. Next is 1000 minus 23. Okay. Now in this, tell me how many zeros are there? There are three zeros. But here how many digits are there? Only two. So we have to prepend it with one more zero. So after prepending you'll get zero, two, three. And then apply the Nikhilam rule. All from nine, last from ten. Now first tell me nine minus zero is nine. Nine minus two, seven. And ten minus three also seven. That simple it is. One more example to take. Tell me 1 lakh minus 459.62. Okay. Now in this you can see there are five zeros. And there are three digits before dot. We are going to put two more zeros. But where? Prepend it. That is before. 0, 0, 4, 5, 9.62. And then apply all from 9, last from 10. Now quickly tell me, 9 minus 0 is 9, 9 minus 0, 9, 9 minus 4, 5, 9 minus 5, 4, 9 minus 9, 0, dot as it is, 9 minus 6, 3, and 10 minus 2, 8. Isn't it simple? Yes. That's all for today. In the next session, we'll see some more Vedic tricks of multiplication, addition, subtraction, division, and many more. Okay? So, as always, keep learning and keep evolving. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. See you in the next video. God bless you.